A family launched a wave of suicide bombings in Indonesia on Sunday, killing at least 13 people and wounding 40 others. They were the deadliest attacks in the Southeast Asian country since the 2005 Bali bombings, which killed 20 people. Our Nuaram reports. The family of six were inspired by the Islamic State group, which has claimed responsibility for the attacks in Indonesia's second largest city of Surabaya. Local police say the husband and father of four detonated a car bomb in front of a church. Minutes later, his wife and two daughters, the youngest of whom was just nine years old, attacked a second church and a third was targeted by two sons aged 18 and 16 using a motorcycle with bombs on their laps. Police said the family had returned to Indonesia from Syria, where until recently IS controlled significant territory. President Joko Widodo visited the scene of the attacks, describing them as barbaric and beyond the limits of humanity. Pope Francis also offered his prayers for the victims. Streets around the bomb churches were blocked and heavily armed police stood guard as forensic and bomb squad officers combed the area for clues. The attacks are the deadliest in Indonesia linked to IS and the worst since October 2005 when three suicide bombers blew themselves up in Bali restaurants killing 20 people. Although Indonesia has had some success in cracking down on terrorism, there has been a resurgence of Islamic attacks in recent years amid the rise of IS overseas. Nuaram, Arirang News.